this video i'm going to talk about planning engineer job role that how and what actually they are performing in the industry if we talk about construction industry and oil and gas industry many people have these doubts about planning engineering job roles scheduling engineering job roles then their promotions then how they they can start their job career so within this video i'm gonna clarify all those confusions so stay there till the end of this video because I'm going to share with you three steps how you can start your job career as a planner. Doesn't matter you are a fresher, doesn't matter you are a mid-career level planner. For starting this video, I would request you people to subscribe this channel so that in future, if I'm going to make any video, you get that link on time. So as a planning engineer, when you are going to start work on any building construction project, you know, a road construction project, MEP, you know, airport construction project, pipeline, First of all, you have to accept it. This job role is equally valued for every kind of industry. Secondly, now we are going to start uh, exploring that what are general duties of this planning engineer. As a planning engineer, this job role is responsible to implement project management on projects like building, road, MEP, pipeline, anything, right, which is undertaken to complete our which is supposed to deliver within estimated timeline, within estimated cost, right? So we need to implement project management. When I talk about project management, so this planning engineer is, first of all, is responsible to prepare scope management, right? Scope management means work identification, what we need to carry out on site area, what we need to carry out in the head offices, home office, in terms of designing, in terms of procurement, we have to monitor their activities like uh, how what are the steps we have to carry out to complete that design that procurement so this is called head office planning so this planning engineer is going to document what are the steps to complete all the drawings and procurement steps then construction so this collectively we are going to call it scope management within that scope management there is methodology wbs first of all with the help of other management team senior members documents templates this planning engineer is actually going to assist their team to develop different kind of deliverables to which we call WBS. So it will be frequently given in job ads. If you visit LinkedIn planning engineer job in job ad portion, you can find job description points like we need a planning engineer having knowledge of familiarity with the scope management, WBS and activity, uh, you know, kind of things. So then this guy is responsible to develop level one schedule, level two, level three, level four. Now, let me explain about these different kind of level of project scheduling. Level one schedule is when your project in the initial, uh, you know, um, phase of planning, like uh, your feasibility report. Level two is tender schedule when your project is about at the bidding stage. Level three is about critical path method schedule. Level four is resource loading schedule. So as a planning engineer, there are different kind of stages. Don't think that this planning schedule in Primera P6 is going to happen all of a sudden, uh, you know, at once, right? No, it will be uh, evolving from level one, level two. So that might be written in many project descriptions. Then uh, there is like time management. When we talk about time management, might be possible this job role, this uh, your responsibility as a planning engineer will be broken down into different kind of uh, you know, uh, things like requirements like this guy should be responsible to uh, identify the time or duration or number of days required to complete the certain activities, right? So behind that activity, behind that job role, a planning engineer should be familiar with the productivity sheet, with the man hour allocation, with the resource availability, resource optimization, resource list, resource types, right? So the planning engineer should familiar with all of these things these should be his or her job roles then when you are going to talk about resource management cost management is also gonna happen parallel to that like cost management direct cost indirect cost fixed cost variable cost capex opex like capital expenditures operational expenditure these are specifically relevant to the cost engineers which are also kind of planning engineer but in many organizations they are allocating this cost engineer job role to separate one in big organizations in smaller projects uh, a planning engineer is going to handle all of these things then after this resource management and cost management there is critical path method development like this is the backbone of planning engineering like 
you know critical path method will be developed will only be developed once links are there dependency model is there finish to start relationship start to start finish to finish this all strategy will be finalized inside the meetings with client and consultant with your senior management right so this planning engineer is going to take that idea instructions out of those meetings and going to implement within Primera p6 how to link up different kind of deliverables with each other right so along with these uh, things this planning engineer should be responsible to have expertise hands-on experience on Primera p6 as well as on contract like he should be familiar with contract types with the contract classes right so these are the major responsibilities of planning engineer then uh, if you talk about a junior planner, either you are a fresher or you are having one or two years of experience after understanding or learning Primavera P6 or basic framework of planning engineering, whatever I have mentioned, you can join any organization as a junior planner or scheduler, right? Uh, you know, uh, these are, are your responsibilities. But if you are a mid-career level planning engineer, you should go beyond this uh, circle, this comfort zone. You should understand how to generate different kind of S-curves. When I talk about S curves, the same like cash flows, your progress uh, curves, your project profiles, your spreadsheets, which are highly recommended for mid-career level planning engineer. The guy should be responsible how to work on Primera P6 and generate their S curves, how to, uh, you know, transform Primera P6 data from Primera P6 database into Excel and generate. You know, this is also one of the highly required responsibility of a planning engineer as a mid-career planning engineer then how to uh, print your pr uh, project schedule in pdf how to import export uh, different kind of templates how to set up your baseline right you know your complete project planning schedule how to fix this one after and you should also familiar with approval procedures of procurement designing and different kind of documentations and how to submit this schedule how to write your letter correspondence letter narrative report uh, how to uh, segregate your project schedule from designing from drawing from procurement right because you can allocate you should be familiar with activity codes cost accounts and then furthermore earned value management right how to define planned value earned value actual cost as uh, you know kpis key performance indicators so all these things are going to help you to to present your progress reports, your variance reports, which are going to help your, uh, you know, stakeholders, your client and consultant about the project status. So this is mid-career planning engineer. But if you are interested to join or you are already done all of these things and you want to join companies as a senior planning engineer, then you should carry with EOT delay analysis and claims management. In Within that domain, you should be familiar with EOT uh, framework, extension of time, cost claims, framework, uh, forensic schedule analysis, uh, uh, FIDIC red book, uh, contract book, right? Different kind of classes, variance uh, claims, your additional cost claims, your acceleration claims, your uh, delayed drawing claim. There are many things there. And SCL, Society of Construction Law. These are senior planning engineer job roles, right? Then there are different kind of methodologies which are mentioned in American Association, uh, which are mentioned in which are mentioned in American Association of Cost Engineering uh, Society like uh, time impact analysis, impacted as planned, windows analysis, slices and ana slice analysis, and many more things within Primavera P6. So all of these things now going to define your job role as a as a senior planning engineer, right? So I hope you got and pen down all of these things. If the video was uh, kind of quick, just slow it down and uh, make it as your comfort level, right? and uh, right there in the chat box area if you are interested to start your job career after understanding all these things as a planning engineer and moreover there is a surprise bonus for you people there is a link above on my head right now you can see just click that link and start watching that complete job role which i have narrated within this video and i have explained that one in that two hours video right just start watching that one and start building your skill and three tips which i promise with you on the initial part of this video that how you can start uh, building up your skill as a planning engineer start learning about project management things like uh, schedule management time management cost management every single day you should add two new things uh, go to uh, uh, you know on google blog study uh, blogs watch youtube videos the way i have just 
ask you to watch that, that my own YouTube channel video. And moreover, start learning about Primera P6 out of that uh, video. And, and mo most important thing, skill is one thing. Skill is one thing. The second most important thing is how you are going to present yourself. When you are done with the skill, understanding, learning and all that, how you are going to market yourself on different kind of platforms like LinkedIn, like Indeed, Bait.com. So th that is the most important. Third step, third tip is I'm going to invite you in my upcoming live free masterclass right there in the chat box area. Live free masterclass. You have to do your job. My team is going to approach you and give you that link which is going to give you the opportunity to attend to be with me in that live free masterclass and it's gonna happen on the weekend and uh, get your strategy done by me on a live session that how you can join this career in next two to three months right so see you in that live free masterclass but before that don't forget to write in the comment section area see you in my next video